Hello there and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Tom Rouse and today I'm going to be giving a little bit of a preview to the Europa League final between Manchester United and Ajax. It's a game that Mourinho has dubbed the biggest match of Manchester United's history. Uh, he's put a lot of pressure on the players I think for tomorrow's match. He's rested lots of key players over the recent games. He's built it up in the media and it is an extremely important game for the club in the context of this season and next season, particularly I think it's important for Mourinho himself. If he doesn't manage to qualify for the Champions League this season, then you've got to consider this project to be a failure so far. For all his talk and for all his bravado to finish sixth in the Premier League and then to not qualify for the Champions League through the Europa League has got to be considered a massive failure. If you're taking into consideration as well the money that has been spent at the club, over the last year it is widely considered as one of the most expensively assembled squads in football in history. To the game itself, Ajax have been preparing for it in a similar vein as well. They've rested a lot of players, they've fielded a team with an average age of 20, which if you consider Man United's average age on Sunday against Crystal Palace was 23, it's extremely young. Having not won the Dutch league as well this season, Ajax will be looking to get some silverware in the cabinet. It's a big game for them as well and as Ajax have already qualified for the Champions League through their league position perhaps there's a little less pressure on them to perform tomorrow which could work in their advantage. There's two teams playing tomorrow, one with enormous pressure on them being put on them from the media and from their manager and the stature of the club. They expect to win tomorrow and then Ajax don't have to win, be nice for them to get a trophy and to end the season on a high but the prize is bigger than the trophy in tomorrow's match, it's the qualification for Europe. But on the other hand, saying that Manchester United's players should be fresh after a good break, you'd imagine that the majority of the team that starts tomorrow night did not start against Crystal Palace. Pogba is the obvious exception. But I'm going to stick my neck out on the line and I'm going to back Jose Mourinho to get the result. He's done it in big games before. You look at how Inter Milan won the Champions League in 2010 through a game plan that was carried out to perfection. I think that he's got the ability to do that. Whether Manchester United have got the players at present to carry out such a game plan and against an attacking Ajax team, I think it's important that Manchester United try and get an early breakthrough and get on the front foot. We saw Liverpool last year in the Europa League struggle to get a foothold in the game and it slipped away from them quite quickly. I could see Manchester United picking up a win tomorrow. I think it, because of the magnitude of the game, the preparation would have been spot on. Despite not being the biggest fan of Jose or Manchester United, I do think that they'll manage to complete the haul of all of the trophies that they could possibly win, or the top trophies. They've never won the fourth division like Wolves. But yeah, so I'm back in Manchester United, although I could see it going the distance, I could see Ajax putting up a good fight and making a good match. And that's what, all I'm hoping for tomorrow, is a good game of football and not a negative defensive show from Mourinho parking the tank. Thank you very much yet again for watching. If this is the first video that you watched of mine, then why don't you subscribe because there's lots more football content coming up soon. I'll do a review of the match between Manchester United and Ajax tomorrow night. And hopefully in a couple of weeks' time for the Champions League final, I'm planning to go to Cardiff on the day and be part of the fan zone. So there'll be a video of that, so make sure that you subscribe as to not miss that. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon.